What's going on, you guys? Gonna do a review for something that's essentially been at my side ever since I picked it up a few weeks ago. Just been holding off to do a review till I kind of got some more feedback on it, and that's on this coldest water bottle. I'll put a link down below along with the promo code if you guys want to check it out and support the channel. Um, I'll show you guys that. I forget where I heard about this um, initially. Honestly, I know I saw it on YouTube is where I initially saw it, and once I kind of saw it, looked at the colors, not that I really needed to be sold another water bottle, honestly, but I was kind of sold on the claims and the colors and the design, uh, to be totally honest. And I do think it was really actually really worth it. I'll get into that in a second. I'll show you guys an unboxing. I'll kind of show you guys how I use the bottle. Uh, but there's a bunch of different options. I was more attracted to the bigger bottle options. Uh, it boasts a lifetime warranty and free returns, which that's kind of, you know, guilt. I like stuff that's kind of guilt-free. Uh, it's designed in the United States. So it's a United, -based, United States-based company, which is pretty cool. Boasts a lot of uh, cool features, like that it floats, it doesn't sweat, has a leak-free cap, very durable. I was really more attracted to this design, this half gallon. This is what I was actually eyeing, and this is what initially I, I wanted. Uh, it has a couple cool different color options, a little pricey, and actually I almost kind of wish I got the, the big full gallon, to be honest with you. I think I just wanted to save some money. Uh, but here is the like a trailer for it. When I watched the trailer, they kind of talk about the technology and development it took to create the water bottle. That also, uh, not going to lie, kind of sold me on it. Um, but again, the back of my mind is like, do I really need another water bottle? Do I need this giant thing? Am I going to use it? So I will talk about that uh, as we kind of go along here. But it goes over the design. There's actually the the full the full uh, one gallon jug. I got the half gallon. Half gallon's actually a good size. Honestly, the half gallon's you know it's sturdy and well built enough that it, it makes it pretty heavy. So I can imagine the one gallons probably gonna be fairly heavy uh this guy i've watched this review too they plug, put it on their website where this guy does a lot of reviews and he actually compared it to like the hydro flask which is probably the most popular you know uh, stainless steel water bottle that's out there that claims keep things cold and hot for long periods of time and long story short it, it does kind of meet the challenge and surpass it as the coldest water bottle not that i'm someone who really needs ultra cold water uh, but it's something cool that if I, I fill it up with ice and water early in the day and honestly it stays cold all the way into the evening no problem my wife wanted this tumbler there was like a promo code at the time when we got it where you got a free tumbler I ended up getting two free tumblers i might have accidentally paid for one i don't know but my wife wanted this white one uh, pretty cool she really likes it a lot if there's one comment about this she thought the top that top plastic part was a little bit thicker uh, to what she was used to, but honestly, she uh, she likes the, the cup itself. And we got two red ones I ended up giving away to people in my family, but um, not really gonna focus on the half gallon review here, but definitely durable, especially when you hold it, very durable, solid products. It did, you can register the product when you guys open it up for your, uh, I guess, your lifetime warranty. That's always huge. Whenever I'm looking at any product, I'm always looking for a lifetime warranty or something like that where I have free returns if I really don't like the product or feel like I got buyer's remorse. I bought this coffee sampler too. I haven't tried that yet, but if you comment down below, by the time this comes up in the next few days, I'm sure I'll try that. Uh, I just kind of forgot about it until I made this video. And then here's me unboxing what I was really looking forward to. Uh, again, I really like the color scheme on this. When I initially kind of pulled it out of the uh, box here, uh, really was just kind of, definitely seems like it's definitely really well, really good quality. Uh, you can check the reviews about that, other reviews on the website as well. But opening up, that's the first thing I noticed, just how sturdy and durable it was. Pretty, I mean, decent weight to it, uh, considering, which was kind of what I wanted to see. Uh, I'll give you guys some more up close shots later on as we go along here. Uh, but basically, this is another cool feature too. For such a big bottle like this, the fact that you can sip it out of a, out of a straw, and I'll be honest, when I see straws like this, I kind of, I, I baby things because uh, I don't want the straw to break because that'd be something else, but maybe they return that as well. Ignore this top spigot because you can actually turn this and straighten it out. Right now, I just didn't fully tighten it. I'll give you guys some up close shots here in a second, but here's the, once you take this paper off, there is this nice little, uh, little grip here so you guys can kind of hold on to it with one hand and it's worth just noting i mean if it's something as simple as like you just like the design of a water bottle like you're, and you're more apt to use it just like if you like your exercise program or your diet that to me is just worth it so i can just honestly say since i've gotten this water bottle i've definitely been drinking more water uh, more so than i have with other water bottles that i have so I, in my opinion i definitely think it's worth it um, here's this glass, this glass deposit bottle. I've always talked to people about this. I should do a whole video about that, but I'm a huge proponent on if you're going to be getting like, if you use deposit water or water, uh, getting a glass one. 
I'm just here just filling it up with uh, a big thing of ice. You can't see the ice, not all the ice is floating there, but that's kind of like a ritual now. Uh, sometimes we'll want like a, a mega water blend here. I'll put all these supplements in there. Usually I just stick to my, this blue res lemonade, uh, BCAA powder. I link these guys down below. Again, if you want to support the channel, I always link these are the supplements I use. Some of those I don't use every single day just to kind of save them, but my BCA powder, I'll mix it in there, just kind of give it a little more flavor. And then here's the kind of the top portion of the, uh, of the half gallon here definitely really durable just showing you guys that metal piece this part alone it is pretty heavy and just really well made i think that kind of definitely adds to the 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 sealant insulation of keeping stuff cold or hot or whatever uh here's just the up close shot of the actual like spigot there um, all good qualities when you did this around i didn't realize at first but it's meant to kind of turn all the way around so it flushes straight up and down just like that and then same thing when you actually go ahead and seal the bottle on top you really want to make sure that it's you really give it a good tight squeeze when i first did it it wasn't tight enough and stuff would leak but i just want to show you guys this to kind of wrap it up what i do is uh, once it's all kind of sealed and ready to go i give it a good shake i kind of shake it throughout and i'm just going to finish it up by showing you guys i can shake this thing up i bounce it around it falls on the, on the ground whatever doesn't leak at all and I can't say enough good things. When I make this really short and sweet, just say this is a product I really like and recommend. And I'll, I'll have it recommended down below my recommended list for future videos. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.